Hello and welcome to our presentation on the impacts of climate change. Our topic is deforestation. My name is Andrew O. I'm Anthony Granruth. I'm Irene Hahn. Currently want to. First of all, what exactly is deforestation? In simple terms, it's just the removal or destruction of forests to make land for other purposes or from some natural cause. For example, on the left, we have deforestation in the Amazon rainforest. And judging by how neat the deforestation is, it's likely caused by people cutting down the trees. And on the right, this is the aftermath of a wildfire in Germany in 2018. And as you can see, it didn't go too well for the trees. So this would be destruction of a forest through natural causes, in this case, fire. All right, moving on. What exactly causes deforestation? There are many factors, but generally speaking, deforestation is mostly anthropogenic or caused by human activity. This is usually because of agricultural reasons to make land for planting crops, etc., or for industrial purposes, like the need of land to build houses and other buildings. On the bottom, here's an instance of this occurring. In a research study that was published in 20. 15 regarding anthropogenic deforestation in Thailand. And they found that forest regeneration around villages and other areas where humans have direct access to is very difficult and unlikely. So in this diagram, you can see the impact of humans on deforestation in this area of Thailand. By 2011, agricultural areas represented by the orange markers spread throughout the forest and they're usually around a village. And the villages are represented by a black dot. Now it might be a bit hard to see because the lines are also black, but there are black dots representing villages in this picture, which is what drove the anthropogenic deforestation. Now this type of deforestation doesn't just happen in Thailand, of course, but all over the world, as you can imagine. Deforestation can also be from natural causes as well, albeit not as much or of a great extent as human causes. Like for example, it can be from fires, like the recent California fires, it can be from parasites or even hurricanes and other natural disasters. Sorry, uh, going on. Moving on to deforestation and climate change, as we all learned in biology class, trees take in CO2 and release oxygen. And when those trees are destroyed um, or burned through forest, through industrial reasons or other reasons, they release that CO2 back into the atmosphere. Now, the more CO2 there is in the atmosphere slows down the production of ozone, which is vital in, um, preventing global warming. And the more CO2 that's emitted, plus the less CO2 that's absorbed is global warming. And during a maple tree's first 25 years, um, it sequesters about 400 pounds of carbon dioxide, according to the US Energy Information Administration. And according to a case study called Forecasting deforestation and carbon emissions in tropical developing countries facing demographic expansion, a case study in Madagascar by Ghislaine Villadent um, these, the, and others. He researched the Andapa and Fort Dauphin, the second regions, and they noticed that the um, CO2 emissions from deforestation is exponential, not linear. Now, if you look at these graphs, um, you may th at first you might think it's linear, but if you take a closer look, it's slightly exponential. And lastly, they also um, discovered that anthropogenic deforestation in tropical countries is responsible for a significant part of global carbon dioxide emissions in the atmosphere. Continuing on with deforestation and climate change, According to a research paper by Deborah Lawrence and Karen Van de Kar titled Effects of Tropical Deforestation on Climate and Agriculture, deforestation can result not only in climate change, but also decreased quality of agriculture. The research paper draws the connection between deforestation and climate change 
by measuring the potential changes in things like rainfall, temperature, and agricultural production as a result of deforestation. Through extensive modeling, the researchers conclude that tropical deforestation on many scales influences local, regional, and even global climate. The research also shows the effects of deforestation on agriculture, modeling forest loss in the Amazon and its effects on the surrounding farming. It observed an inconsistency in seasonal rainfall distribution, frequency, and intensity that greatly reduced productivity of the crops. Another, titled, another article titled Deforestation-Induced Climate Change, Effects of Spatial Scale by Patrick Longobardi observes the effect deforestation has on climate change through data modeling and simulation. In the process, it noted that a factor in climate fluctuations was soil carbon, which was majorly altered by deforestation. The impact of deforestation on soil carbon, though mostly negative, was not definite as it depends on the latitude and amount of deforestation in a given area. The research also collected data on global SAT, surface air temperature, concluding that lower to mid latitude deforestation led to consistent warmer temperatures, while high latitude led to cooler temperatures. Another problem deforestation contributes greatly to is ocean acidification, as you can see with the picture from to the right. With the lack of trees to absorb carbon dioxide, more CO2 will also enter the oceans, reacting with seawater to create carbonic acid, which can be detrimental towards organisms like shellfish and coral, which depend on calcium carbonate to form their hard shells and skeletons. Another two examples you can see on the picture to the left, you can see uh, an example of deforestation in Cambodia. Deforestation creates habitat loss, which can put certain species at risk, one being the Bengal florican, a large grassland bird and critically endangered species, according to the Wildlife Conservation Society. Currently, the Cambodian government has established six protected areas, totaling more than 310 kilometers squared for the species, but deforestation in unprotected regions still threaten the bird survival. On the right, you can see the result of slash and burn agriculture in Sumatra, Indonesia, the practice of clearing trees to provide inexpensive farmland. Here, the land is being prepared for large-scale palm oil development. The picture is provided by Avoided Deforestation Partners, a nonprofit organization involved in the effort to reduce deforestation in tropical rainforest countries. The practice of palm oil cultivation is driving another critically endangered species towards extinction, the Sumatran orangutan, native only to the island of Sumatra. This data is from research led by Noriko Hosunuma, which looked at 46 separate tropical and subtropical countries to find the driving factors of deforestation. The data is broken into four categories, data from pre, early, late, and post-transitional countries. In general, countries in pre and early trans transitional states have higher amounts of forest cover and increasing deforestation rates, whereas countries in late and post-transitional states tend to have lower amounts of forest cover and decreasing amounts of deforestation rates. Graph A in the top left looks at the area change of transitional forests, finding the leading causes of this type of deforestation to be from subsist subsistence and commercial agriculture. Graph B in the top right looks at the average net forest area change from 2000 to 2010, which found that the majority of overall forest loss occurs in countries in an early transitional state. Graph C in the bottom left looks at permanently degraded areas of forest, which are most commonly caused by timber, logging, fuel, fuel wood, and charcoal cultivation. In summary, deforestation is the removal of forest either anthropogenically by humans gathering resources or clearing more land to develop, or naturally from disasters like fires, hurricanes, and parasites. The combination of humans producing more carbon dioxide and there being less forest to absorb these, these emissions is a massive contributing factor to the worsening of climate change, which results in things like worsened soil quality, ocean acidification, and habitat loss. Here we have our sources from all the research papers we used and here we have other references that you have.